So, as I'm guessing, this will be the thumbnail. I'm just hoping this will be the thumbnail. So, so today we are going on to the final part of phase one for the Mar for the not Marvel for the DC Slate of Thumb. So we've came far, Batman. We've bit Superman. We've came far with all these, and we're finally at the final ones. So this is the final episode of Slate. One. Here we go. So here's the first film, Wonder Woman Warriors, and it's basically what Wonder Woman did, like basically what happened before Wonder Woman. It's basically like half the the parts of the film, different parts, like Arrow the TV show where it keeps doing like um, flashbacks and forwards and all that. It's some. Um, Basically, um, keeps doing that, and the other part is her sort of dealing with being one of many heroes. She thought she could, she was special, and then she's had a lot of people like her, and she wants to prove herself. And half of the film is in the, there, and there's the one villain still there, and that is Cheetah as a bigger villain, and it's her. Basically, um, proving that she doesn't take big villains. Like, Cheetah isn't very powerful in this. And she's annoyed because she wants stronger villains. And then do, she watches the Doomsday Battle and is inspired to, to become and continue Superman's legacy. And the ending scenes are about... Basically, Wonder Woman becoming um, one of the leaders of the Justice League with Batman. Batman and Wonder Woman, they're sort of going to become the leaders. And they're basically just going to direct the league. With Su I, mean, I mean, with the Flash joining the Trinity. And Superboy sort of becoming the new Superman. And the after credit scene is basically... Um, um, dark side, and he's just coming back together, and he's basically ready to get them. So yeah, and then move on to the second film now, Suicide Squad: War Crimes, and this is basically um the new team film. And it's got a lot of the villains in. So, I mean, some of them have been in other films. So they have Mr. Freeze, Zoom, Harley Quinn, and then they have new characters. Deadshot, Deathstroke, who will be appearing in um, some uh, Teen Titans stuff. Bane, who was in The Broken Bat. And there's only going to be six members. I would do, and um, yeah, and they're all basically going to be going out and fighting. <laughs> they're basically going to go, the mission is that they have to basically track down the Joker because they need everybody to find the Joker. And so Harley has got stolen his face on the mission, and puts it onto Deadshot and tries to sort of make out with Deadshot and sort of like kiss him and be creepy and then Deathstroke puts a stop to it by killing Harley Quinn and this sets off a lot and a new character called Captain Boomerang is introduced Flash villain and yeah he's basically um, just gonna be mad, and then, um, yeah, I'm to, and then the final battle. Not many will die in it, like the com like the comics. But then, um, Bane's head explodes because that's what they do in the Suicide Squad. They have so um, bomb in the neck, and they blow the head off because that's basically because Bane basically 
had the villain, which would be the Joker, and then the explorer said to try and kill the Joker, and it failed. And then, who else is on the team? I'm just thinking who else was on the team. Oh, yeah, and Zoom also exploded by and captured the Joker, and the Joker was arrested. But the story will be continued soon. Also, this, so the next story. Oh, no, I need to explain something. So the end scene is basically Harley Quinn and just crying in lots of blood. But the after credit scene is really big. It's like, basically, the prison gets destroyed and all the villains are three. That means the Joker's three. Now, the next story is Hex. And this is Jonah Hex. And, you like, I mean, it's... This is on a different Earth. This is Earth 2. And, basically, he is, like, a cowboy. It's not basically, like, this is the future of that Earth. The, like, the Wild West has returned. And this will cross over in Crisis. And he's basically just... Um, well, I could say he's basically, um... A cow, he's not just a cowboy, he does a lot more. He is like the boss of the town. And the story basically is um, Bruce Wayne's doppelganger on this earth, which is called Bruce Wayne, and his father, Thomas Wayne, who is like really old, crippled. Um, those two basically want to get Jonah for what he's doing. Because um, Jonah's killing a lot of people. And he doesn't know how many people he's killing. So they have to stop him. And there's a lot of films in this one. But yeah, and then they end up killing all of Jonah's friends. And Jonah is left on his own to beat them. And he... He ends up sort of, like, winning by killing Bruce Wayne, and then Thomas Wayne dies on his own in, like, his little chair. And there's going to be an introduction of more heroes on that world and all that. But, yeah, and this is the introduction to that world. And the end scene is basically you're on the hex travelling to another world and it's our world and he meets Batman and then the after credit scene is basically well um um what was it I've just forgot the after credit scene will basically be drawn a hex like um basically just like dancing with Batman a party like they like he he's like the awkward friend at party and now the next film it yeah it's what i thought batman the batman six two first and we call it two first because well it's a bit about two face a lot about the joker so this is where the joker's face is full on off and it's just mayhem and it's the sixth Batman film, the end of the second Batman trilogy. And I don't know about Batman 7, I'm not sure if I'll do it. But yeah, he basically... The Joker has cut his face off, you know. And he's got his face back from Deadshot. And he's going to staple it back on. And he, when he staples it back on, Batman finds him. And he catches him basically while he's stapling his face, and so it's pretty disturbing. And um, he has his face stapled on, and then there's a big battle, and his face ends up getting burnt. And he ha and he there's um basically a time jump of like three months where his face is basically grown back, and he's in he's back in Arkham, and. Then he basically, um, oh, I forgot. Wait, like, well, Barbara Gordon is 
Arkham is starting to walk again, while the Joker is basically cutting people's faces off. And wearing them, stapling them to his face, I'll say. And then taking them off. But he still ends up getting hurt himself. But he's torturing people. And Batman needs to stop it. So Batman and Nightwing both go out and rip the Joker's face off with, um, the, with their bare hands. Yes, I said bare hands. And, well... Spreading blood everywhere. They even ripped one of his eyes out. He some of his teeth out. He is like nearly dead. And then he just laughs. And that's the end. And the after credit scene is basically um the dead joke family members. Like all of Joke's family. Well, what he thought was his family, and yeah, there's two more things, I think. Um, should be. <laughs> and who he thought was his family. But also, his t- uh, his tie, a lot of Watchmen things on which people have been, which, which will be a big part of Fear's, um, Two, so I mean, here we have the fourth Superman film, and it's a bit of a mention to the quest for peace. Superman four, the quest for Ice Man, and this is basically Ice Superman, and he has Superman's powers, but everything he does is with ice. He floats with ice. He shoots ice from his eyes. He obviously breathes ice. Um. He can do everything that Superman can do with ice. And it's a great battle because they're all doing stuff with ice. I'm actually really excited for tonight because it's a three-day weekend and it's Sunday. So I'm really excited for some reason. I'm just, like, so tingly inside because I'm excited. And then the... It's, like, a big battle because it's Superboy. I was originally going to call it Superboy. But I thought he's the new Superman. And this is the only image online that I could find that really resembled what Superman would look like. So I decided to do this Iceman character. I'm not sure who it is. So I'm calling him Ice Superman or Super Iceman. I'll call him Super Iceman. And Super Iceman's basically just freezing towns. And then Mr. Freezer Captain Cold just. Well, n- not for Captain Cold, but keep seeing this happening because, you know, Captain Cold's blind. And the, they're just hearing about it. And then they basically help Superboy slash Superman because it's, well, they don't like another person with eyes, they want to be the only ones with eyes. Well, really, both of them want to be the only person with eyes. They want to be unique. But then what happens to Mr. Freeze is weird. Mr. Freeze accidentally gets hit by lasers and becomes Heatwave. The character from Legends of Tomorrow. But, yeah, he's also um, a character called friend, and they're going to become a a duo. So those two are basically the um, two main heroes. And this is, these are the two like big villains. And these are, this is the last film of phase um, one. And this is gonna have a big jumping off point. It's like jumping off a cliff, but you don't know if it's gonna be a trampoline at the bottom. And you don't know if you, when you jump off that trampoline, Will you be high up in the air? I mean, so, like, and then they end up killing him with Heatwave. And then, basically, Supergirl is actually really sick, but she's still trying to fight. She's like, oh, I'm still going to fight, even though he says, like, don't fight. And, yeah, she's basically a fighter. And then... 
the end scene is basically Batman and every other character, everybody coming together and looking up at the sky. And now we are going to say bye to this phase with Justice League 2 Crisis. It's the first film in phase two. So we're gonna go back in time. The Darkest Night, a Batman story. It was great, and yeah, it started it off. Superman Infinity started all the Supermans off. Flash and Arrow, which was inspired by um, the CW, which they're both big characters on. Wonder Woman Royale, a very big show, a very big film for Wonder Woman. The Broken Bat, Justice League, which was a big crossover. We cycle doesn't mean in many of us. The Flash. I think Batman's been in there for a while. And The Flash, which... Number two, which was... Well, didn't really change the game, but... Then Superman Star did change the game, as it introduced a star, Superboy. And then Aquatics, basically. It's just a big Aquaman story. And then The Batman, a.k.a. Batman 3. Young Justice, the only young heroes came together and then batman 4 and the flash rebirth big rebirth sorry but batman probably will not ever be rebirth superman trio a big story superman as that introduced the new superman with the court of owls batman 5 which made the joker the most evil character in the films wonder woman warriors which sort of shit made you feel for Wonder Woman? Suicide Squad Crimes made Harley Quinn feel really gruesome. Hex, the the western area of these films. Batman Six, the um, what is it? I forgot it. Uh, oh, Two Faced. Two faces in that a bit, but not much. Um, Superman 4, finally, the last film of Phase 1. That ended it all. The first Superboy, Superman film. Just look at all these. These are all going to be forgotten as we press delete. This is the only film now. Justice League 2, Crisis. This is Crisis on Infinite Earths, which is the biggest story ever, and we are going to take a while to cover this. So, let's see. Basically, it starts off, they're all, every hero is looking up to the sky. Every hero and the villain. And then Jonah Hex and everyone. And then a green person falls down, called the Green Lantern, and basically introduces himself. And he has a ring that can make anything. He can make a god, which is green. And it's made of like this weird energy, but it can do anything. He can make people of green energy. And he is like called the Green Lantern, and it's a ring that's going to be passed down. And then everybody is brought up in a giant green ship to space. And while they're going up, Green Lantern explains why. He basically says that they're, they're going to um, basically be took up to defeat the biggest bad in the galaxy. Dark side's returned and now this was the big event. Every, everybody is ready and he even called it a crisis and it, on infinite earths lots of earths will be affected by it and they don't want to affect it and then they got brought to a planet called apocalypse and he was there destroying people's lives and then the heroes came Suma man also boy and supergirl just like storming at them 
and trying to um basically kill him and then they um sadly like superman the supergirl it knocks down and it's like the they kill supergirl and this is where this picture comes from and supergirl has died and then in the wrath superman beats dark side and but dark side can't take it and just throws superman away and like characters from lots of things like suicide squad members are just this trying to destroy him and then he just he just crushes heat wave he literally crushes him and then the ice man he he just rips in half he was already nearly dead i mean they basically and then they were fighting for hours and they finally destroyed him and superman picked up supergirl and just cried and carried her like this everybody watched as he did this and batman just walked up to him and hugged him and just said everything was going to be okay as the justice league will come back and they made sure dark side would never come back they burnt him and got like hammers and just whacked him and just there was there were crumbs everywhere dark side was nothing he was basically nothing there and everybody knew he was dead all the villains became heroes for a second all the heroes became neutral for a second and everybody was crying at Superman's loss. And the end of this film ends in a funeral for all the fallen heroes. <coughs> and I mean, also, for this to happen, and then, the new Flash just quickly buys like the best funeral ever and just makes it beautiful and everybody's there and like it's a bright day as not everything's dark but then the after credit scene is the biggest after credit scene ever the first after credit scene of phase two and it basically it shows like everybody together and then um a new team walk up to the camera and you don't know who they are because it's in the shade and then it's revealed that they are for a new film the next one of the next films called titans and this wraps up phase one and starts off phase two i mean i'm excited for like what i can do with this and there's been a lot of films in this now and yeah and there's also gonna be a big sort of um video on one film today that's the last one i'm doing right today because I've done a lot of them, right? There'll be two films in phase two, basically. And yeah, we've got rid of the other pictures now, so... Yeah, I mean, thank you for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye!